Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, you know exactly what I'm doing today. There's some top water fishing with the Savage Gear 3D Snake, I believe it's called. Um, I've got it in the smaller size because Mackinac holds a lot of smaller fish, um, but also it's a bit more versatile. I can throw it on a bit of a lighter setup. Fishing a setup up to 30 grams today. I'm fishing 65 pound wire though, because if I get this thing snagged up in a tree, I definitely want to be able to bend the hooks out and get it back. So the reason that I'm out here doing this today is just to see if these local pike fancy a bit of snake because recently I've seen a lot, a lot of grass snakes recently um, swimming in the canal. You see them every summertime as the weather starts to warm up. Lots of grass snakes come out and lots of baby ones too. In fact, last year around this time, I did find a tiny little baby grass snake. Um, probably not much smaller than this actually. So it's time to see if the pike will want to eat it. So this video has actually been filmed in a couple of different parts. I went out one time uh, with the big camera that you're watching me on right now, uh, trying to film some slow-mo slow up-close takes. And then I've been out, obviously, with a GoPro, just trying to get some blobs and hopefully get some fish on the bank. And that's what I'm out here trying to do today. So I'm fishing last thing in the evening. I've also done a little bit of fishing early in the morning as well. Um, so fingers crossed we can maybe put some fish on the bank. Or maybe I've put some on the bank already. Let's carry on with the video. Hopefully get some cool takes. I did not expect that. <laughs> I must have been sat on my feet. God, he made me jump. I did not get a good hook set then. There we go. Good size fish. Well, bigger than the ones that have chased it so far. There we go, fish on, fish on, fish on. Try not to fall in here. Proper tangled up. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. He weren't coming off. Yes, he's in the night. Finally, two on the bank, so I've had to cut the footage out, but really nice fish. Nailed the snake. Because he was a tricky one to land, with him getting stuck in the reeds, I don't want to keep him out of the water for very long at all. I see some guy was trying to chat to me on the bank about the fish, and I was just like, come on, I just want to film it, letting it go. Yeah. Probably clamped his jaw shut, but he weren't coming off. Let's let him go in the net. He's no monster, but he's bigger than a lot of the fish that have hit it so far. Most of the fish that have hit it so far have been like two pounds. Oh, we still have got an hole in the net. He's swum straight for it. Well, he's strong enough. I thought I was going to have to rest him, but hey ho, he's off. Now, before we go any further and actually try and stick some pike on the bank, um, I've got a very quick shout out slash thank you message to a friend of mine. Um, I found myself in a bit of a crappy situation a few months back um, where I left my rucksack on the train station platform in a pretty rough area and it got stolen, got taken. I had my GoPro in it, my SD cards in it and it was at the time when the YouTube channel wasn't doing too well. And a friend of mine found out, uh, Sean, uh, he runs a lot of the pages on Facebook, he also has his own web shop and straight away he said, what do you need? Tell me exactly what you need, GoPro harness, memory cards, etc. And I'll send it out to you. No questions asked. 
um, just pay me back whenever you can do in the future and if it weren't for him the last few videos wouldn't have even been possible and at the minute the YouTube channel is starting to do really well now picking up nicely Sean has a web shop and this is my thank you to you Sean thanks buddy and I'll leave a link to your web shop down in the description below it specializes in predator tackle so if you guys could check that out I would really really appreciate that because he's done me a massive favor recently so once again thanks for that mate I'm gonna crack on with this video now hopefully put a few more fish on the bank and make this video worth watching ha. Definitely saw a small jack pike swerve away from that there. There we go. There we go, there we go. Yes! That absolutely crushed it as well. I knew there was a jack pike down there following it. That is cool. On the snake. It's not the biggest pike in the world, but really cool eat. Absolutely slam dunk that snake and got both hooks in him as well. Awesome. By the time I got a good hook hold, only a lot of jack pie though. <laughs> you crushed that snake. The snake's about half the length of his body, actually. Cool. See you later, buddy. Get stung by nettles here. There we go, there we go, fish on. I was not even looking, I don't even know whether that'd be on camera. <laughs> I was looking to the distance because <laughs> there was a small jack pike to my left and I was trying to see if I could see it. And then I just heard a big splash and there's a pike on. And I'm going to have to try and land it now down at these reeds. Yeah, don't know if that'd even be on GoPro. Not the biggest fish in the world, because you've well got 65 pounds whiplash on here in fact do I net him I'm gonna chin him because the uh, he's got a hook exposed right near his eye yeah he's got a hook right in his uh, eyebrow and if I'd have netted him then it could have got into his eye good job I noticed that it's gonna be very careful there super super careful pretty cool though on the snake. Oh, there we go. We just got it out. Hate it when they're like that. Yeah, you can see, look, a bit of blood right in his eyebrow there where he's just nicked it. Beautiful pike. He's got a gash in his side where um, it's like maybe a cormorant or something might have hold of it or maybe even a big heron. <laughs> Fancying his chances. But it's a lovely fish. He's going to kick off now. Let's let him go. There we go. Not exactly the most dignified release, but if they're going to fresh like that, they're better off dropping into the water than onto the bank. <laughs> God, he tricked me then. Wondered why he weren't moving. I've only had him out of the water a few seconds. <laughs> Oh, there's a pike. Pike following it. Run it right to the margin. Come on, come on. Come on, it's going to take it. It's going to take it. It's coming up behind it. There we go. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. Come on. 
Oh no, I'm tangled up. Uh. All right, close to this margin. There we go, there we go, fish up, fish up. Oh, crushed it. Perfect cast too. Swim right at me. Come on, come on, slow down. There we go, we got him. Another pike following it. Let's get this one landed quickly and get cast straight back out there. It's a small, it's an even smaller pike. It's chased it. Let's get him netted. Right, let's lift him up because. Awesome. Only just hooked, barely on the front of that one's lip. I was lucky. No monster, but what was the surprise is that another pike followed this one in about the same size, so trying to catch back out again. That was right down the reeds. <laughs> Very carefully dropping down here. The water is just there, watch. Ready? See? Nice quick easy release. Another pike is right there. Right now the sun's setting now, so I think it's probably time to summarise the session. It seems like the hookup rate with the snake is horrendous. <laughs> it's actually worse than when I went out with the hollow belly frog and that's saying something. But I think the problem was the pike were quite small. Um, I'm sure if every fish that hit it were over like four or five pound then, I'm sure it would have got hooked up every time. Um, and some of you guys are probably already going to the comments now to say this, but you can't leave the pike to take a hard bait. They just won't do it. Um, that's from my own personal experience. Maybe some of you guys have found different. Uh, if it was a soft bait, they tend to take it and they hold on for it for a little bit. With a hard bait, they hit it within a split second. As soon as they realise what it is, they let go. So you can't just let them take it. As soon as you hit it, that's it. You've either got a strike or, or miss a fish altogether. And, uh, well, it seemed to work out in a couple of cases today. What did I catch? Maybe four or five fish, something like that. And lost probably about seven or eight <laughs> but never mind i still had a really enjoyable session and that's what it's all about when it comes to top water fishing getting those blow ups uh, really just enjoying the fishing for what it is if you even if you miss the bites it's still really cool seeing them charging seeing that wake and having your bait absolutely explode especially when it's a cool little bait like the snake that i'm using today anyway so thank you guys for watching if you want to like i mentioned earlier if you want to check out sean's web shop I'll have to link to that in the description below um, if you want to subscribe because we're on about 91,000 subscribers now um, from the time you're watching this video which is awesome we're getting so close to the 100,000 mark I will be hitting it this year if we carry on at the pace that we're going gradual uphill incline there so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy like the video if you want to subscribe if you want to and I'll catch you guys later